I am Anil Kumar sharing with you questions from previous test paper on probability models. The question here is, a player pays $20 in order to toss three coins. The game operator pays the player in dollars 10 times the number of heads that the player obtains. Determine mean and variance. Calculate the expected net loss in five trials. So that's the question for you. You can pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now in this particular question, what we see is that three coins are tossed. So, it, so the possibility of getting heads is no heads at all, one head, two head, or three heads. So there are four possible values. So based on how many number of heads one gets, the operator pays 10 times those number of heads as the winning, correct? That's how the game is placed. We need to find the mean and the variance for this particular game, correct? So that's, that's what we need to do. So let us define our random variable and uh, let the random variable be the reward since we have to find the loss, correct? So we are saying that the random variable x be equals to the reward in dollars. Okay. So that is the random variable. So now we'll make a table of values to calculate uh, mean and variance. So let me just draw a line here and then we'll see how it goes. Okay. So let's calculate first. Uh, let me first write down all the possible values of x, right? So if you get zero heads, then the rewards will be zero dollars. Is it okay? But if you get one head, in that case, the reward will be ten dollars. If you get two heads, it will be twenty dollars. And maximum, you get get three heads. So that gives you thirty dollars. So that's the value of reward which you can get and let me write down here it means that uh, uh, okay so we'll write down the probability so we'll know exactly why we are getting 10 20 or 30 dollars so let's write down the probability for each now what is the probability of getting no heads at all so when you toss three coins so basically we have uh, three conditions right when you cross three coins you may get all tails that is no heads at all correct so there is only probability is once only once you, out of eight combinations since there are three positions could be head or a tail head or a tail head or a tail two to the power of three gives you eight combinations so as you know this is has a probability of one over eight now if you get one head this is for one head in that case, the probability is 3 out of 8, right? So 3 out of 8 is for 1 head. For 2 heads, it is again 3 out of 8. And for all the 3 to be heads, it is 1 out of 8. So by this time, you are an expert in finding these probabilities. You could find these probabilities with the help of binomial distribution, right? Or, or the general counting principle. So you can use any method you want. You can also use binomial coefficients, correct? So it is like A plus B whole Q. So these are the three coefficients, okay? So either way, you could find this probability. So I'm leaving that for you. Okay, now the next column is, uh, what do we need to find? We need to find mean and variance, correct? So to find mean, let us, or expected value, uh, we'll multiply X times P of X. So when you multiply this quantity, you get 0. When you multiply times 10, you get 30 over 8. 20, 2 times 3 is 6. 60 over 8. 30 over 8. So these are the values, correct? Now sum of all this will give you the expected value, right? Or the mean, correct? So mean here is, so let's calculate mean. Uh, which is equals to the expected value also. Sometimes we write this as expected value. So that is sum of all this, right? So which is uh, equal to, let me write here, as equal to 
30 over 8 plus 60 over 8 plus 30 over 8 right so that is the mean for us so 30 30 60 120 over 8 so that becomes the mean in this particular case so 8 times 1 40 means 15 right so the mean here or the expected value in this case is 15 so we got the first answer now let's look into variance how do you find variance so for variance we need to find uh, we need to find sum of uh, x square times p of x right x square times p of x so we need to find x square times p of x so this will be so we have to multiply these two x square so x square times p of x so we get 300 over 8 correct so this value will be 300 over 8 square of 20 is 400 so so 400 times 3 gives you 1200 right so it is 1200 over 8 square of 30 is 900 and 900 into 1 will give us 900 and divide by 8 so it is 900 over 8 correct so that is how we get this and sum of all this sum of all this if you add them all so we get uh, 24 over 800 right so it is 24 100 over 8 so that is that is the sum of all this okay let me push this page a bit now what is the variance so variance for this example will be equals to the this sum sum of x square p of x minus the mean square or expected value x square right and always you should take variance as positive value we'll make it positive like this absolute value so we have this uh, sum as equals to 2400 over 8 minus 15 square right minus 15 square so that gives us uh, the value for variance right so if you calculate this well this is 300 this is then you get what you get 75 as your answer right so it's 75 you can use calculator to figure this out so the variance in this particular case is 75 correct okay? so we get our answer answer is mean or the expected value or you can say mean is equals to 15 and well, we should write dollars also since the units are dollars, right? $15 and the variance is, is $75, right? So that is what we get. Now, is it a fair game or not? That could be another part of this question. Since you're paying $20, the expected value is $15. That means for the player, it is so that means every time you play this game you're going to lose five dollars correct part b is calculate the expected net loss in five trials so as we have seen net loss is how much let's calculate this it is uh, you pay 20 right but you gain 15 so there is a loss of five dollars correct so it is 20 minus 15 and five trials so multiply that by five so it is $25 is the net loss in five trials. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps you to understand the concepts. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.